Hey, Bakersfield police were led on an unusual police chase. A llama living in southwest Bakersfield got free and ran out into traffic, even making a pit stop at Costco. 23 ABC Scott Sheehan was there as authorities tracked and caught the llama and joins us now live at that llama's home. Scott. Jessica, I'm trying to introduce you to Lily the llama. I was trying to get her to come over here and I guess she likes uh, tortillas, but she has been living in Southwest Bakersfield. Let me introduce her to her. She's over there, she's the brown one. She's lived in Southwest Bakersfield for over a decade with a alpaca and a couple of chickens and her owner says that this is only the second time that she's gotten out. You ready girl? Ready to go home? It's gonna start raining. I'm gonna have to ride you. For the last 12 years, Lily the Llama has lived on Margallo Avenue in Southwest Bakersfield. Where else can you sit in your front yard and watch the llama and the alpaca and the chickens? You know, they sit over there, drink their coffee, look across here, and everybody likes it. Everybody brings them tortillas, cereal, bread. But today, Lily didn't stay at home. She got free after a neighbor's dog opened her gate, then spooked the llama. Lily then ran down the street and was later found at Costco, about a mile down Stein Road. She didn't even ask me if I wanted anything. You go to Costco, you gotta ask me something. Witnesses say they helped Bakersfield police and animal control herd her back up the street, where she was later wrangled in a neighbor's front yard. We just saw a llama causing drama on Facebook in my aunt's yard. So we saw the live feed and we came over to check everything was okay. After Lily the llama was wrangled, it took over an hour to get her from her neighbor's front yard to her yard, a block and a half down the street. And it took about a dozen neighbors to help Sharon bring Lily home. She saw me and her ears went back. And I was like, okay, well, it's probably not a good idea that I get that close for that long. And sure enough, she tried to spit at me. She's just worn out. She just can't get up. She's just tired. You know, because she ran all the way to Costco and then they got all those lights, people honking their horns and chasing her and that just scares her. After a brief pit stop at another's neighbor's yard, Lily was eventually lifted onto a trailer and chauffeured home. She enjoyed the ride all the way home into the yard and then she decided to stay. <laughs> so in a way, she knew how she was going to get home and was just waiting for everybody else to figure it out too. Llama Mama is home with her llama. Now, when I talked with Lily's owner, Sharon, she told me that she talked with the, the dog's owner, her neighbor's dog's owner, who spooked Lily into escaping, and that she also made modifications to her gate to make sure that if that dog tries to come back into the yard, that the gate doesn't open. In Southwest Bakersfield, with Lily the Llama, Scott Sheehan, 23ABC News.